Hello peeps. Just in the middle of trimming up all my what's this? Sky cards. I'll take these off and I is that gonna focus in? I'll save these little chips, I'll put them in a box, sell them on eBay, maybe one day I'll uh, turn them into gold flake. Anyway, what I'm gonna talk about today is one of those it's a YouTuber only thing, I think. I think I'm not sure. You know, you go out you know it's going to be a really quiet night so you don't bother taking the camera or you don't bother charging the camera up and you go out in your motor and you think right it's it's only like a wednesday night and wednesday nights are always quiet and i never get bugger all and then you come across an entire car load anyone ever had those nights i'm sure ian's had a few of them vandal vlogs and i mean bag load of Cable. Not sure if you can see inside there. And it doesn't stop. Car battery, sight transformer, reams and reams and reams. 240 volt cable. I mean, there's a, a shit ton of it, to be perfectly honest. And this was all sitting in one lump. Outside the shop, I normally only clear on a Sunday night. Obviously, with the old uh, cessation of the lockdown, big old pile of cable to go through, sight transformer, fuse boxes, lawnmower, big old car battery. Typically, I just took all my batteries in. And something else, well, a couple of other things. picked these up as well while I was out and about quite interesting I think check this out let's close that pot up before I tip all over the floor check that out this has got to be 1970s 1980s telephone intercommunication set with signal bulb what it is it's a little intercom wide intercom runs on batteries and you've got these miniature little phones I don't think it's actually meant for kids it plugs in to a power pack so they plug into each other there's a little intercom you press a little bell on top and the other thing lights up isn't that great still in the box got to be 70s 80s made in Yugoslavia I thought that was quite cool. I might put that in my uh, camper van. Have one in the front and one in the back. Not that I over carry anybody, but and also this. Now this I've done some research and I can't find a lot on it. But what I do know is this style of console was big in the late 70s, sort of 1978. Uh, it's got your twin paddles that are permanently wired in. It's got couple of different games, mainly all Pong. Can you see that? You've got your slow settings, your size of your paddle, on and off switch, and you've even got your own game scores that you have to keep yourself, which is, which is there's nothing, I don't think there's anything inside, it's just a sliding button and you keep your own scores, it's that. Crap. <laughs> I've got an old analogue TV at the back of my other garage. It's an old um, Sony Trinitron. From the from 74 this i think is from 1978 i've done a little bit of research i can't find a lot on it it's a solus color tvg 200 and it's an old style pong game but it's also got the screen shooter game now from what i can make out on this all the screen shooter game is is you have to shoot the ball to make it bounce back so it's just literally another pong game but that's quite neat isn't it all right there's a probably a games museum out there wouldn't mind that and if there are any games museums out there that want a TVG 200 I'll uh, quite happily donate it to you this I don't know what I'm doing with I might pop it up on eBay um, I sold that Maserati airbox uh, 20 quid 19.99 so that was a nice little bonus for that night I might stick this up on eBay I haven't uh, researched this yet I just did a quick research on that that game console last night when I picked it up but there you go that's what we've picked up tonight or last night 
bloody great pile of cable. Typically the night I didn't take the camera with me because it was a Wednesday night, I never pick anything up Wednesday nights, it's boring, etc, etc. Go figure. Anyway, there's probably, even if I took that in as VIR, there's about five as worth there. Time I've stripped it down into singles and uh, number one bright and shiny, which is what I do is I rip the earth cable out and then leave the live and neutral, I leave them as uh, singles. They're about four quid a kilo at the moment, so there's going to be, I don't know, eight quid's worth of singles in there, two quid's worth of bright and shiny. I've got a battery, a nice big battery. It's a good 15 kilos. So that's about six quid. I've got a sight transformer, which I'll open up. It'll probably be aluminium windings, which is why it's busted, and it'll probably be potted. But I might open that up on camera later on, stick it on the end of this video, just so you can see what I actually got. It was just one of those nights. Convinced I wouldn't get anything, I had to go shopping anyway. There's a PC. Oh, there's a PC in there as well. Small form factor PC. I also managed to pick up PlayStation 2 Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. And it's in there as well, which is handy because I've got a PlayStation 2 and a PlayStation 3 and a PlayStation 4 and a PlayStation 1 and a PlayStation Classic. And well, there's a pile of Xbox. There's another. I picked up a, yet another Xbox the other day. I might send that down to uh, Community Kev. He said he wanted them, but I've got. Well, there's one up there which got a cracked case. There's one in there I haven't tested. And there's. That's the Call of Duty Modern Welfare. Warfare? Welfare. Modern Welfare is about right nowadays. And there's another one under there as well. Not sure if you can see it. Another PlayStation behind my vinegar bottles. Which I use for dissolving the copper to get the gold off of these sort of things. Anyway, I'm going to unload the car because I've got a hospital run to do. So I'll pile all that in here and later on we'll go through something just to make this video a little bit longer and maybe even just a little teeny weeny taddy witty bit interesting, which will make a nice change. White screen. Perfect. Oh, right, peeps. Like I said, we'll have a look. Have a look, see, see what's inside this uh, sight transformer, shall we? Get you a little bit cold. Well, let's get the screws out first so you can see what I'm doing. These have got little recesses underneath and they come with uh, nuts underneath. They should spin up fairly easy. I do believe my battery's going a bit flat. A battery is. I never know where anything is. I lose everything. That on a daily basis. Especially now I've tidied up. The trouble with tidying up is you've probably put stuff from where it was to where it now is. And it's where it now is. That's the problem. It's going to be a bit of a. There we go. that let's hope it lasts for this video shall we should have said that because no it probably won't last for this video right. yep look at that I'll zoom in on that I'll zoom in on that give you a better look I'll zoom in on that go on Bennett I can tell what, what's what See that? Oh, this is that really hard potting. It's basically... Really hard resin. They put the transformer in there. And then they just pour this resin in. It is rock hard. If you can get it out of here, you can chisel some of it off. But it's pretty perfect. It's just simply not worth the aggro. Um, we'll have a go. I'll see if I, uh, I don't really want to be doing this. This is just, it is literally a pain in the um, posterior. Getting these potted ones apart. If they're the soft ones, you can dig them out a bit at a time. It's still difficult to do. You know what I mean? I don't normally pick these up. It's just this was outside with that, all that 
cable so I figured well you know I'm there at the, right there picking it up It'd be silly not to if my place is now taking which they apparently they are are now taking transformers maybe they'll take these these who knows I'm so out of date maybe they've got a new uh, a new section for it I'll ask next time I go in but I don't think there's any, you're never going to get that out I mean that stuff is it might it's, oh there you go it's shoved shattered a bit I was about to say it's so hard you can sometimes shatter it out uh, see what I'm going to do rather than film me bashing the uh, completing that a bejesus out of this am I allowed to say that or am I degrading somebody I don't think you can see that it's starting to uh, chip out it's very hard it's, it's literally a plastic it's a, a two pack resin um, so I'm going to take these plugs off I'm going to strip all this down tack it with the Hummer and see how, I can, uh, how much I can get out maybe I'll be able to slide it out and we can get a better look I'll get back to you in a bit peeps this is just going to get a bit noisy Right then, well we're in. Believe it or not, first time I've seen this. I'm probably well behind the times here because I haven't stripped one of these for ages because I've never bothered. But inside, I'm gonna leave that pot in, believe it or not, the whole thing was full of sand. And if you can see that, box full of sand. It's very fine stuff like what you get in fuses. Yeah, judging by the look of that looks copper this could be one of these jobs I'm really not going to enjoy doing because it's going to take me forever and a day is that going to focus in? it's aluminium it looks very coppery when you cut it I'm not sure if this can pick this up let's cut a bit of the wire out let's cut something that I can actually drag out I don't know if you can see there you've got that thick piece of potting on top now when I've stripped these before the whole thing's been potted with a soft rubbery potting this is obviously only potted on top and underneath it as I say it's full of sand just like fuses are if you cut these is that going to focus? I think that's a bit too close. You can see, you can see even that's not focused. It's very, there you go, it's silvery. That is aluminium windings. Whole thing's full of aluminium windings. So, I'm not going to be bothering stripping that in future if you can take them in and your place takes windings and they take ballasts and they'll take these if they'll take these take them in you know get away with it um, so my place has only just started taking ballasts again well not ballasts but um, windings and they, they check every single one so it'd be pointless to be taking this in so this is going to go to my scrap man who will take it in in the light iron unfortunately another knock I've said this quite a few times it's getting really hard to find number two copper nowadays everywhere it used to be it isn't anymore I shall take these to pieces for the pins I have literally got hang on I'll show you Cycle Scrapping says he's got a lot of them. I've got five of these, all full of household plugs, all to be unscrewed and have the pins separated. I've got them all over the place. I've left it way too long. I normally do them at the end of every week. I've left this, this bag is this week. I normally do one of these bags every week. I've left it for a month and I've now got, oh, excuse me, I've got five of these full up. And I've got this one that's sort of half full. So I've got to get them and do those. Otherwise, I'll end up with a garage full of uh, plugs. Right, anyway, well, on that letdown note, peeps, I'll see you later. Ta da! I'm going to strip all that wire. That's definitely copper. Lovely.